Hey everyone, welcome back to She Tried It. So today's video is a little bit different. I got some help from you guys on this video. A few days ago, actually two weeks ago, I posted on my community tab of my YouTube channel asking, I need your help. I literally just came up with a possible video idea, but I need input from you. Answer these three questions. One, let me know a yarn you have in your stash that you have no clue what to make with. Two, let me know how much of that yarn you have. And three, let me know if you're a crocheter or a knitter. Answer all three of those questions and if we get five responses below y'all have a new video on the way so y'all came through for me so much and I really appreciate all the people who responded and today's video is exactly that video idea I had so I got responses way more than five I don't really know how many but like 10 or 12 or something we're gonna go through those items right now without any further ado let me let you know what I would make with your stash first up we have Max Gray Max Gray said, I accidentally bought way too much Lion Brand Mandala Baby, so I have a few thousand yards of Weight 3 acrylic in blue, white, and green colorway. I think it's called Echo. I could crochet a throw, but would love more interesting ideas. So the best yarn I could find to match her description was this one, this Mandala yarn. This is Lion Brand Mandala Baby yarn. It's Weight 3, so it's a lightweight yarn. It's 100% acrylic, and the colorway that it comes in is called Echo Caves. If I were to suggest a pattern for this yarn, I have three. One is the finished shawl that I made by Not Bad Brit. That was an amazing crochet shawl that I made. And for anyone watching this video, if you knit or crochet, I'm just gonna answer the person's questions, but for the finished shawl, that actually comes in a knit version. So if you want to knit a version of that shawl, check out that video and I link in the description box of that video. The other thing I'd suggest for this yarn, and I've never worked with a yarn with like three colors like this. I have worked with a rainbow yarn, but I think that's different. But the other thing I would suggest is the Breeze Eyelet Shawl by Amy K. Kate, another amazing shawl, very customizable. You can make it as big or as little as you want. So I highly recommend that shawl. And that one is a free pattern, so highly recommend that one. And the third one I would recommend, I'm not too familiar with, but the Ridge Walk Scarf by Sarah Ruane. I think that would be really pretty for this yarn and it would probably be really cute. So all in all, as an overall suggestion, I would suggest you go with a shawl because I think you could work those three colors really beautifully up into a shawl rather than a throw so it's more wearable. And because it has so many colors you could match it different ways with different outfits let me know what you end up making with that yarn i'm really excited to know next up we have callie lawson and she says oh i would love to see where you go with this her answers to the three questions are one kfo fingering in a forest green color she has about five skeins and she's a knitter for that yarn this is the best thing i could find kfo i didn't know it means knitting for olive which i'm not familiar with at all but she has mentioned it i want to say callie was in the group of people that we did the knit along and crochet along together for the the cardigan that I made recently. The yarn that I found is Knitting for Olive. It's a cotton merino yarn and it's fingering weight. The fiber content is 70% cotton and 30% wool and the color is dark sea green. And since she said she has about five skeins based on that yarn that I found, I think she has about 685 yards, which is more than enough yarn to play with. My suggestions for her would be two different ones. The first suggestion would be the Beachy Breezy cardigan that I made by Knitting Tipsy. I think that was such a cute pattern and I think that would come out really great with this green yarn. Plus, if this is the Cali that I'm thinking of, she lives in Houston, Texas, so you would want something very breezy for this hot weather. It's cold right now or cool. I don't know what we're doing over here, but it's cool right now, but when it gets warm, it's gonna get really warm. So I think a breezy cardigan would be perfect for this yarn. The other suggestion I would make is the Moon Crush Tank by Jacqueline Seaslack. I'm not really sure how to say her name, but she's an amazing designer that I've been wanting to make something from, and I think this is a great pattern for this top. Now, her top does come in two different colors, it, so if you have another yarn, you could mix it into the pattern, but if you don't, I think this top would look just as beautiful just using one color, so totally your choice, but those are my two suggestions for your yarn. Next up, we have Pickliz AK Tapia. I'm not sure if I said that right. Her answer to the three questions were, she has a mix of alpaca, merino, and nylon. It's blue and it feels a bit like mohair and she does not like mohair. She has 10 balls at 142 yards each and she does knitting and crocheting, so we're kind of alike. The best yarn that I could find was this yarn right here. It's called Valley Yarns Peru. And I just kind of went off the mix that she said she had. So this is a worsted weight yarn and it's 84% alpaca, 8% wool and 8% nylon. So it has the same fiber makeup that she was talking about. And also it is in the color denim because she said it was blue, so that's the best match. And again, it has 142 yards each. So if she has 10 balls, it will be about 1,000 420 yards. So that's 
way more than enough. I don't know why I thought y'all's yarn stashes were gonna be tiny amounts of yarn. Y'all have some huge yarn stashes, which is kind of impressive. I do have, again, two suggestions for this yarn, and one of them I'm actually wearing today. I would suggest you making the Bomber Bolena that I made by Ali Maravillas. I think this cardigan is so cute. I get so much wear out of it, and with the blue one, like it would go with jeans, it'll go with so many things. This will be a great, great pattern to complete with your yarn. I think you would love how this turns out. If you have the same issues that I did, check out my video, make the little shoulder pads that I did, because this pattern does only come to one size, but it's still an amazing pattern, so I highly recommend. The other pattern that I would suggest is the Stash Dive Raglan by Summer Lee Designs. Now, I've never made this pattern. The Summer Lee is the person that I made my first pair of knit socks from, so she has some amazing patterns, and I'm fully aware of that. I think that you'll get some really good use out of her patterns, and this pattern in particular would go great with the yarn that you have. Next up, we have Rusia J, and she says, I have Karen cakes. They're the fuzzy kind, I'd have to look up the name, latte cakes. I have three cakes. I knit and crochet. So the best yarn I could find was this one. This is a Karen Latte Cake yarn. Its weight is a bulky weight yarn and the fiber content is 58% acrylic and 42% nylon. Now I'm not sure what color she has, but she said she has about three cakes and if she does have this yarn, it probably is about 530 yards. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that if she has three cakes, she has about 1,590 yards. Now with this yarn, I would suggest two patterns. One is the No Biggie Sweater by Annie and Heidi Pickles. These people have some amazing patterns that I definitely plan on trying out very soon. Well, very soon, I don't know. But I definitely plan on trying out one day. I think the No Biggie Sweater would be really great with this bulky yarn. And based on the look of this yarn, I've never worked with this yarn in particular, but I know sometimes when the yarn has the little fraying hairs on it, it can be really hard to work with doing a tight stitch. So I would suggest something a little bit looser so you don't have to risk unraveling it, or if you do have to unravel it, it's not a tight stitch that you're unraveling, but more of a looser stitch. So that's one reason I chose the No Biggie Sweater. The other pattern that I would suggest is the Colorado Throw Blanket by Jessica Reeves Potat, by Jessica Reeves that I can't pronounce her last name. I think this would be a great pattern for you to make. I think again, depending on how this yarn feels, maybe it's not something you wanna wear all day, but instead something you wanna use when you get home. So I think making a throw out of this yarn would be a great idea. And with 1,590 yards, I think that you have more than enough yarn to complete a throw. I highly recommend the Colorado Throw Blanket by Jessica. Next up, actually the next two are by one person, Michelle M. So the first thing she said is, I bought Yarn B Katarina years ago. It's now discontinued, but I have 1180 yards. Each 100 gram ball has about 295 yards and it's a weight three. 90% acrylic and 10% nylon. I crochet and I knit. So again, I'm shocked to find so many knitters and crocheters. This is the best example I could find of this yarn because again, it's discontinued, but I was able to find a picture off of Ravelry. Again, like she said, this is Yarn B Katarina. It's a DK weight yarn and it's 90% acrylic, 10% nylon. I'm not really sure what color she has, but what I did notice is that this yarn comes with multiple colors. Like there was no solid color of this yarn. Every version of this yarn has multiple colors in it. Either way, what I would suggest with this yarn is, one, what I would suggest with this yarn is the World's Simplest Mittens by Tin Can Knits. I think this would be a really fun project. And because you have so much yarn, which I don't think it'll take 1180 yards to complete some mittens, but you should have extra yarn. I would go ahead and knit or crochet a scarf to go along with your mittens. I think having a matching set for the winter months with this yarn would be so cute. I think this is the perfect yarn for that. As long as it's soft enough for you and you don't mind wearing it and it's warm, which it should be because it's acrylic, I think this would be really good for matching mittens and a scarf. And for the scarf pattern, I didn't have a particular one, but if you keep listening, I'm sure I'll mention one, but just go ahead and knit a rectangle or crochet a rectangle. You should be totally fine. The other response I got from Michelle M was, I have about 16 balls of Lion Brand Kobu in several colors. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but leaning towards a summer tunic to go with leg I just found a pattern I love. I want something conservative but cool for our hot, humid Houston days, so another Houston person. And I've crocheted over 40 years and have recently picked up knitting. I only do basic knits and pearls, but have played with a few other stitches. I do have quite a few suggestions. I've never used Lion Brand Kobu, but if you haven't, this is how Lion Brand Kobu looks. It comes in some great colors, and she didn't say the color that she has, but regardless, I think these patterns would work with it. The first thing I would suggest is a summer 
Breeze Crop Top 2.0 that I made by Designs by Key. This was such a fun and easy crochet pattern that I did and I think you'd really enjoy it because it is so beginner friendly and because you have so much yarn left, I would suggest making more than one of these suggestions. I don't think you have to pick or choose one of them. The next pattern I would suggest is the Topaz Tee by Two of Wands, my bestie. If you thought I was not gonna mention her in this video, you are sadly mistaken. But the really cool thing about this pattern, it is a crochet pattern and this pattern actually suggests using Kobu yarn. So again, I've never used this yarn, but I do remember when I saw this pattern, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get my hands on some Kobu because this is such a cute pattern. Well, you did say you wanted something a little bit more conservative and I think you could just pair this with a really nice tank top underneath it and just wear it around this hot Houston weather and you should be more than comfortable here. Highly recommend this pattern and of course I am a little bit biased but it's a really really cute pattern. I think everyone would agree with that. Next up I have the Be Kind Tank by Justian, Justin, Justina, 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 Sarah. Justina Sirac. That's probably wrong, but this is a really cute tank, a very simple knit tank, and it just says be kind on it. I think that is so cute, a great message, and honestly, it's something that could be passed around here in Houston. So you could probably shine some light on people in Houston with your be kind tank. So I highly recommend that one. And if you have multiple colors, because I think this one you would need multiple colors, it couldn't be one color. But if you have multiple colors of Kobu, this should be a perfect pattern for that. Again, let me know what you end up making because I think you have your hands on some really good stuff in your yarn stash. Next up, we have Marquita Makes from Naughty Crush, and she said she has indie dyed orange slub yarn. She has three totes, max size bin full, and she crochets exclusively, which I don't know if that's true because I thought she was trying to knit for a little bit. But anyways, I don't know exactly what yarn that is. So I'm not sure the weight or the fiber content or anything. I wasn't sure what slub yarn is and the best thing I could find was this picture. So it's kind of like yarn that has different weights to it. So maybe that's why she wasn't able to tell me a weight. This one kind of threw me for a loop. So if y'all have any suggestions, definitely leave them in the comments below. I'm gonna go the simple route and I'm gonna suggest making a shawl or a scarf or something just because I have never Ever worked with a yarn like this. It looks very fun, but I couldn't find, personally, I couldn't find a pattern that used slub yarn. That's that's different. I think that would be really, really cute for anything, any kind of scarf that you could make. Highly recommend a scarf, but the only thing is I know you're you're in the South. I don't remember which state you're in, but I think a scarf would be okay for probably where you live. Again, this one really stumped me. So if you have any suggestions, leave them below. Next up, we have Craft Enthusiast, which I love the way you spell that. And she said, love the long cardigan. She has two skeins of Malabrigo Rios. A lady never discusses her yarn stash, JK. Too much to count. So she has a lot of the Rios yarn and she knits and she crochets. So this is going to be a very similar suggestion that I gave to Marquita in the previous suggestion, but I think her yarn might look like this if I were to just guess. I don't really know the color, but Malabrigo yarn is really, really pretty. I am trying my best to get my hands in that yarn to be able to make something. Malabrigo Rios is actually a worsted weight yarn. Its fiber content is 100% superwash merino wool. What I would recommend for this is something I've been wanting to make for a very long time and it is itty shawl by Truly Crochet. Now, if you're not familiar with Truly Crochet, she has tons of patterns, so many patterns. It is ridiculous. I'm just gonna have them scrolling over here. A whole, a whole bunch of patterns. So many patterns, so many patterns, so many patterns. If you like rectangle shawls, if you like triangle shawls, if you like any type of shape of shawl, if you like very minimal shawls, if you like elaborate, cute design shawls, everything you can think of, she has made. And I was actually really wanting to get my hands in some Balabrigo yarn so that I could make one of her shawls. So I suggest actually you and Marquita checking out Truly Crochet's patterns and maybe you could find something you can make that's really, really cute. So let me know if you decide to go that route. The next person we have is Josie Lee, not so jaded. And she said, I'm a crocheter that has four skeins of Sorella Sport in the colorway wreath, which is 1,312 yards. Now this yarn I was unable to find. If you're unfamiliar with Sorella, she kind of does yarn releases. So it's not like a lion brand or something where the yarn is just continually for sale. I think that this yarn was probably on sale in the past and she bought it and now you probably cannot purchase it anymore unless they re-release it. So I don't have a picture to share with this, but just going off the knowledge that she has clearly a lot of sport weight yarn, I can still suggest some patterns. The first one is the Crochet Tote 
by Darling Jador. This is a really great designer who has some great accessories. She has great sweaters. She has knit and crochet patterns. So if for some reason you decide to pick up knit, which I highly recommend, she has some great knit patterns that you could use with this yarn. I think the crochet tote would be really cute for the yarn you described that you have. But my second suggestion I would give is the Etna Top by Nomad Stitches. Now Nomad Stitches is, I'm a huge fan of her. She's a great designer and she is kind of, to me, known for doing some great patterns with very thin yarn but if you're a crocheter who loves very thin yarn patterns like myself then you would really like Nomad Stitches and I think the Etna top would be perfect for a sport weight yarn by Sorella. Next up we have Jamie White and she said beautiful sweater yes I have yarn in my stash so I'm looking for patterns I'm unsure the amount of yarn I have in my stash and I knit and crochet I consider myself to be more of a beginner knitter so without going off too much about the yarn that you have I would definitely follow the advice that I gave with the truly crochet patterns. I think that again if you have some yarn and you don't know what to do with it you can find some type of shawl that you would love from truly crochet. Next up we have Maverick Mayhem and they said they have yarn art flowers alpaca two balls of it and they crochet and they are going slow but they're intermediate. This is the best picture I could find for yarn art flowers. I'm not really familiar with this yarn. Let me know if y'all have heard of it before but yarn art seems to be a sport weight yarn that's about 55% cotton and 45% acrylic and again since it's so thin I'm gonna go ahead and refer back to the last recommendations I gave one being truly crochet because I am just hyping her up today for some reason but also check out Nomad Stitches and her patterns like I said before, the Etna top is super cute, so you might be able to make something with that. Last, but certainly not least, we have Ty Handcrafted, and she said, beautiful. I have no idea what to make with Lion Brand Chubu. I have less than 20 skeins of different types of yarn, worsted crochet thread. I am a new crocheter. If you're not familiar, this is Lion Brand True Boo, and I thought it was so great to end today's video with a bang. I love Lion Brand True Boo. This is a lightweight yarn that is 100% rayon from bamboo. It is very flowy. When I wanna make something that I know I wanna have some drape to, or if I just wanna make something in the summertime, I know I'm gonna use Lion Brand True Boo. I do have quite a few patterns that I've made with this yarn, and even some that I just suggest with this yarn. I would highly recommend, again, the Summer Breeze crop top 2.0 by designs by key I made a video all about that one I used lion brand true boo in the hot pink color for this top and I think it was so cute I love how it turned out the other thing I would suggest is the everyday maxi dress by OTH crochet nook I think this is a great make it looks kind of scary but I promise it's not it probably just takes a long time because it is a long dress but it has the flow like no other I think it will be really cute and it's a great beginner pattern so if you want to make something more more elaborate but with your beginner skills I think this is definitely the pattern to go with a third pattern that I've actually made but I didn't use true boo on the pattern is the peplum top by Stephanie Aaron now when I made this top I did not use true boo but the way that Stephanie Aaron designed the top she made it using true boo yarn and her top had flow like a gorgeous gorgeous flow I think it could customize the top to fit you perfect the fourth pattern I recommend is the dove dress by Haley Bailey this is a beautiful dress and she did use true boo yarn when she was making this pattern. I think that this dress looks so cute and you could kind of dress it for warm weather or cool weather. It works both ways. I love something like that that's so versatile. The stitches do seem pretty easy. It probably would take you a while, but nothing seems very complicated about this pattern. So I think those are some great suggestions. If you can make all the patterns, I'll be perfect. But if you can only make one or two, I would just go with whatever you like. I really enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Even if you didn't provide what's in your yarn stash, I hope you're able to get some ideas for what you do have in your yarn stash and I really enjoyed working on a video with y'all's help I'm definitely planning on doing that way more actually if you go to my community tab next week I'm gonna be asking y'all some questions about hot topics or unpopular opinions as people call them and then I want to talk through those with y'all on a future video so be sure to check out my community tab make sure you have your notifications on make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in my next video bye My hair came out phenomenal today. Believe it or not, I just did it. This is like two day hair. I don't know why I look so good on day one, but we thank God and we move on. Oof, look at that. Yes, it looks like a bob. Okay, I gotta go cut that. Bye.